Here we go. On the left-hand side, we have Metaverse VR version 3, which is a lyric song, and it sounds like this on the piano. And on the right-hand side, we have it imported into a live set, and it sounds like this. That troubles me when we break free. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a recap of Composing for the New Era, Episode 19, Prep Expression in Tell. In this episode, we re-entered by reflecting that we want to continue to cross-cultivate, cross-connect our music and our Metaverse projects. Our Metaverse work schedule is returning apace. So... We were also wanting to learn uh, more about our Ableton audio producer, which is this thing over here that you just heard. And we continued making uh, our Multiverse VR themed multimedia compositions. We made a Metaverse VR 2 score using dyads, which looks like this, Metaverse 2 and sounds like this. And we actually successfully uh, exported that as a MIDI file and put it over here in uh, one of these Ableton um, documents. While we were doing that, we completed a tutorial. The, the, these wonderful tutorials that come with this program. And we did this one called Playing Software Instruments. And we twiddled with the grand piano, and then we found about something called plugins. So we looked around, and we found a plugin that gave us that Vocaloid effect, which is this uh, Elfin effect. That me. But when we did that, the trouble is, it turned out, that if you use the full-valued notes, which are these over here, and this was a key learning for us, this is how we composed it. However, when you play that using the original notes, you get this. And so the, the words are tripping up over each other. They're, they're being connected by, by kind of little skip sounds. So we, we read the manual and it said, well, you can fix that if you shorten the notes by about a half to three quarter. So we were, we were going to edit the MIDI file down here, <laughs> which we could have done. Each one of these notes we could have manually shortened. But then we had a better idea. We said, why don't we just go back to MuseScore and just press a button and we shorten these each of these notes automatically and so and so when we do that this is the line we get and because they're shortened and then we put the shortened that's why it's called short notes over here then we get so that was a cool, cool, cool learning. So we did that, and then we exported that, and we have a nice recording of it. So we have ideas and where to go with that. The other cool thing that we did is uh, we've just completed a, a Metaverse VR ad hoc group project, and we wanted to communicate the idea of three locations in the world uh, collaboratively working with each other on Metaverse VR stuff. And so we had drawn this scrunchy little... Uh, 
These are supposed to represent three countries. What three countries are those, you ask? Well, I'm glad you asked because we made a video to demonstrate the concept here. And this was kind of cool because this was done using one of our compositions from an earlier episode. But we shot video footage yeah, like this. So we quite enjoyed that because that was, again, you're taking concepts and concept diagrams like this and then going into multimedia composition mode. So what we're going to do to bring us home is we will play for you the uh, current version of our Vocaloid. Yeah, Vocaloid is our new favorite word. This is called the Alter Ego Plugin. You can look them up on line Alter slash Ego. And here is our Here we go. The trouble is when we break free There's a, many things we like about this. We're delighted that we were able to get the thing to work. We were delighted that we took a previous uh, text poem from a while back, and we pretty much composed this uh, treatment on the fly. Uh, the thing that we decided to do was use only two, well, we, used, we combined two scales the CS11 and the CS02. And what we did is we highlighted all the notes here and showed our piano. And then we kind of picked out a melody on here. Like that. And then this scale lets us use the forbidden D flat. So we used it in the... Uh, on the third line. Anyway, it was fun composing a melody on the fly to go with this sestet here. Oh, by the way, this should be deleted. So that concludes today's episode. Um, our ideas for next time are we want to continue combining our multimedia composition work and our metaverse work, which is going to be more concept diagrams and more images, sounds, lyrics, and ideas and our good friend to be determined. Shout outs to Miss Cleo for the inspiration uh, and Silent Lurker for the dedication. Tune in next time to see what happens. Do take care, do come back, and do keep on streaming.